Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGM007 and today we look at the Haven Bags plugin. So this is a really fantastic plugin which allows your players to create these bags and they've got some pretty cool features such as weight limits, auto pickup and stuff like that. So I have a couple of examples in my inventory. We've got the bucket of sand and if we were to right click this, you can see there is a bit of sand in here and nine slots. If we were to open our GUI inventory and then hover over it, you can see it is bound to myself, size of nine. Auto loot is digging, so not only would it be sand, but dirt and other stuff like that. So then we have Lasac. This is the other example I created. As you can see, you can change both the name and the color of the bag. You can see this one's slightly bigger, and then the weight limit is the same, but you can change that easily. So if we want to look at the commands, we can do four slash bags help and that's gonna show us the commands. We can do four slash bags create, and then how many multiples of nine is the size of the bag going to be? So we could do three, and that would be 27. And you can see it's unbound, so no one's claimed it yet. And if we were to click it, it's going to be bound to myself, and you can see the weight limit by default is 3500, which you set in the config file. So let's go and show you how to craft one of these bags. There's technically two ways to do it, and they are slightly different. So if we were to put a chest in the middle surrounded by leather, this is going to create an unused bag, so this means it cannot be bound to anyone. Whereas if I use emerald at the top instead of leather, this is an unbound bag, and that means when I right click it, it's going to be bound to myself and the unused bag is just going to be a normal bag. It's not going to be uh, for me in particular and there's currently nothing in here. So what we can do is four slash bags auto pick up while hovering over this. And there's a few different options such as food, mining and rocks, etc. Uh, so let's go with wood cutting maybe. So if I were to destroy some of these, you can see it's going to depict the bag that's automatically picking up and the weight is going up almost at 100 now and we're getting very close to its limit. And you can see it's now filling up my inventory down here as we are now over encumbered. Now when you get over encumbered, if you've ever played Elder Scrolls or a game like that, you get slowness and you can't move as fast. So that is why it's important to make sure you don't overfill these. So I put a tree down and if I were to start breaking it and picking everything up, it is going to go straight into this bag and you can see there's four logs in there and that's because the auto loot is wood cutting and we've used up 0.22% of the weight limit. Now there's a few other commands such as the bags GUI in here, we can do a variety of things. This is an alternative method to create bags. So you can see the different sizes here. So you could just click one and there it is in your inventory and then you can find it to yourself and then customize it. Bag restoration, pretty handy. So if you, for some reason, lose your bag or want to get um, another copy, you can just click one of these and then suddenly we have uh, more of those in my inventory. And then we can also delete bags as well from someone's inventory. Finally, we can do four slash bags info. And that is basically going to show the same stuff you get by hovering over it. And that is pretty much everything for the most part. The last command is going to be the bags weight command. And this is where you can change the weight of the bag. So let's do maybe 40 for this one. And you can see we are back to 20% of how much weight we can carry. And then if you change anything in the config file, you can do the reload command. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel. And if we go into the Haven Bags folder, you can see there is a bags folder and then quite a few YML files. If we jump into the config, this is where you can change the majority of things. So if we scroll down, we've got the autosave interval. We have the bag type, so it uses a player head rather than an item. And then we've got the bag texture here. We've got some opening and closing sounds. And then if we scroll down, we've got some customization such as protect the bag. So if you chuck it in uh, fire, lava, other stuff, it's not going to be destroyed. Uh, can you put bags in bags like bagception? Yes or no. Scroll down a bit. Should we have auto pickup? Yes or no. And then the volume of that. And then should you auto pick up from your inventory? So that could be helpful as well for sorting stuff out. And then any worlds you're blacklisting where you can't use them. Now, if we scroll down, uh, we probably also want to look at the weight.yml. So this is where I enabled it, it's disabled by default. Uh, the initial weight limit is 3500, but obviously you can change that. Um, and that's also dependent on the size of the bag. So obviously the smaller the bag, the smaller the weight limit. And then here is the over encumbered that I enabled. And then at what percentage should we give them the slowness effect? And then you also get that message. 
and then this is what it looks like as we saw in game looks really cool and then we also have the weights per block so this is a very long list um, you could customize it if you wanted to change some numbers but I think it's pretty good how it is and then if you wanted to you could have a look at some of the other files here you don't really need to such as the recipe file so here we are on the Spigot page, you can see it's updated from 1.17 to 1.20. There's some great information and pictures on here, plus all of the commands and permissions. So if you need any help, you can contact the developer and then make sure you have this plugin as it is a dependency and will not work if you don't have that. And if you need a server to host it on, check out serveminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. That's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.